How to survive a nuclear war? If you believe it is impossible, make sure to watch this video until the end. Well, as always, Papa Lego is by your side. Let's go. Nuclear weapons can be utilized in different ways. It could be a local conflict or a global nuclear war. And now we will consider the sequence of actions for your survival in different scenarios. Nuclear weapons have numerous primary destructive effects. These include color radiation and high temperature during an explosion, shockwave destroying everything in its path, as well as radiation and radioactive fallout, which result in the pollution of the surrounding area. Most probably, the war in the lake will not commence abruptly, but in case the situation intensifies, it is advisable to possess an alarm suitcase beforehand. Let's take a regular backpack, pack the essentials, First, make sure we have enough drinkable water to last for two to three days. After the explosion, all the night water in the affected area will be contaminated, so take from six to ten liters. The weight is heavy, but it will be frustrating to survive a nuclear explosion and then die from dehydration. Bring small bottles for drinking water and to immediately free up space. Bring food that can be stored for an extended period and does not require cooking, such as canned goods and nutritious bars. Please put the medicine and first aid kit. Additionally, add potassium iodide or simple iodine and calcium gluconate to it. They will reduce the impact of radiation on your body. However, they must be taken prior to. Radiation will commence to enter your body and make certain to consume a greater amount of tea. You will also require a folding knife and rope, a small radio receiver and batteries, a road map, a compass and a whistle matches and lighter, candles and flashlight, a piece of soap, wet wipes and a package of plastic bags for emergency situations. Ensure that you have a spare set of clothes packed in a plastic bag to be prepared for any situation. Radioactive dust will remain on your clothes after the explosion. You can use special radiation protection suits, but a regular construction respirator with aerosol protection and goggles for eye protection will be enough for you. Additionally, a hat and gloves. The existence of a digger counter will be a significant advantage. He will assist you in avoiding entering a contaminated area following the explosion. You can also place a battery-operated charger for an MP3 player and wide headphones in your backpack. With him, you will be able to relieve tension in the insane world of post-apocalypse. At the end, I'll make my pick music for this event excellent now your likelihood of making it through has significantly risen the commencement of a nuclear war in the eventuality of a nuclear war all alert systems will notify you of this impending catastrophe if you hear such a signal promptly turn on the tv radio in the car or open the news on your phone to ensure that the alarm is not an educational one and to confirm the validity of the alert do it quickly because during the attack you will have from 7 to 15 minutes before the first explosion if you are at home, quickly grab your emergency backpack, put on warm clothes and run towards the subway, bomb shelter or basement or underground parking. Only go down the stairs. If you're not paranoid, don't save. House rescue backpack, then you will have a couple of minutes to gather your things. The amount of time depends on how much time you will need to get to the shelter. Determine in advance where the nearest safe place is to you for safety. If you reside or are employed at a distance, if you're in the city center, important infrastructure or military facilities, there's a high chance you won't be at the explosion's epicenter. Then you have a chance to survive the explosion while at home. If you have a cast iron bathtub, then take a mattress or a blanket and hide in. Hey, if there is no bathtub, hide under the table or lock yourself in a windowless room. Remove the cabinets from the wall and anything that can fall on you. Lie down on the floor along the thick wall, cover your head, close your ears and open your mouth. This will save your eardrums. Cover yourself with a white sheet and cover all exposed areas of the body to avoid being affected by a large release of radioactive elements. You can also be caught in an explosion on the street. Rapidly locate an underground shelter, a small building constructed with reinforced concrete, or lay down in any depression facing downwards with your feet towards the explosion. An explosion within an 800 meter radius will immediately cause the death of 90% of individuals. Within a radius of 3,200 meters, 50% of people will die. The shock wave will cover 3,000 meters in just 8 seconds. If you manage to survive the explosion, congratulations, the worst is yet to come. I'm not talking about mutants like in computer games. After the explosion, two of the most dangerous enemies will appear. 
radiation, invisible, inaudible, no smell, not perceptible to taste, and a person. As history has shown, people quickly become savage in such situations. If you have survived the explosion, you have 20 minutes before radioactive fallout begins to occur. A powerful explosion burns everything that was in the center and throws this radioactive mess into the atmosphere. This is the fluke. In this time period of 20 minutes, you need to rapidly locate a closed room in order to safeguard yourself from the radioactive dust particles. Wear a respirator or fashion a protective mask using fabric or gauze materials to safeguard yourself from potential harm. Wear gloves and a hat to minimize the number of exposed areas of the body as much as possible. If you were in a building far from the explosion and your house was practically undamaged, close all windows, ventilation, quickly fill the bathtub with water. In a matter of hours the water in the sewer will be contaminated. Choose the room where you will leave your clothes if necessary after going outside. This room will be dirty. Select the second room which will be clean where you will spend the rest of your time. Make sure to decide soon to avoid any inconvenience. Switch on the radio and wait for evacuation messages. In the event that you locate yourself in a compact bunker or basement, refrain from hastily venturing outdoors. Rainfall will happen within a time frame of 10 to 20 hours following the explosion. Inside the shelter it is necessary to remain for a duration of two weeks or a minimum of two to three days. If evacuation is not started during this time, Then you need to go out on your own and be independent. When going outside, observe the direction in which the debris is lying. Proceed in the opposite direction of the explosion, while moving perpendicular to the direction of the wind. Ensure to move quickly and make an effort to avoid stopping. If you are resting, do not sit on the ground. Avoid loneliness and most importantly, if it starts raining, immediately take cover under a roof. On the NukeMap website, you can preview in advance the direction of the radioactive fallout from the explosion. Avoid it. On the map, choose a small town or village that is located several hundred kilometers away from the site of the explosion and start moving towards it. Do not take food and items from the destroyed stores in close proximity to the explosion, as they are highly likely to be contaminated. If it was a solitary attack or a small local conflict, there is a possibility to endure on the surface. If a full-scale nuclear war has started, those who found themselves underground, for example in the subway or in a bunker, will be able to survive. According to experts' estimates, such a war will last from a few days to two weeks, but after that the whole world will be contaminated with radiation and plunged into a nuclear winter for a long time. If you are fortunate enough to survive, you will require these songs to prevent yourself from becoming insane. If not, it is preferable to view other videos on my channel while you still possess the chance.